This is the 2023 Hyundai Santa Cruz, the company's first ever pickup truck for the American market and the biggest hint yet that they want a larger share and greater control of the market. But just how reliable is this truck? Is it really worth the price? Join us in this all-revealing video as we explore the ins and outs of the 2023 Hyundai Santa Cruz. We'll also be exploring how this compact pickup compares to the recently buzzing Ford Maverick. Christmas certainly came early for lovers of pickups in the United States as Ford and Hyundai reignite the competition within the segment in style. Of course, Ford has always been one of the biggest names in the pickup truck category, but the same cannot exactly be said for Hyundai. A couple of years ago, Hyundai was fully focused on making small vehicles for low-income consumers. However, in recent times, the South Korean automaker has been drifting into new segments and challenging the big names that dominate the American automobile industry. The Santa Cruz compact pickup truck is a product of that ambition. Despite being the company's first ever pickup truck, the Santa Cruz is packed with value that even the big wigs in the industry would be jealous of. Aesthetically, the Santa Cruz is easily identifiable. It looks exactly like a Hyundai product. The car maker seems to be developing a design philosophy that is synonymous with the Hyundai name and brand, and we see all of those fundamental design features in this truck. At the front, the company implements a split lighting setup where the LED projector beam headlines are installed in the lower section just like they are in the Tucson. For the top model, Hyundai adds dark chrome finishes sparsely including the lower lip section. This chrome finish extends to the grille area and the center bumper area. Excitingly, the automaker blends the headlights into the grille nicely, giving much more of a bold look. But when you put the Santa Cruz side by side with the Maverick, the Maverick definitely looks more like your traditional pickup truck, especially with the rectangular squared off shape of the front. On the road, the 2023 Hyundai Santa Cruz delivers a remarkable performance of 277 horsepower and 322 pound-feet of torque when equipped with the optional 2.5-liter turbocharged engine and an 8-speed automatic dual-clutch transmission. This setup is actually superior to that of the Ford Maverick, which delivers a top performance of around 250 horsepower and 277 pound-feet of torque. To be clear, the turbo-engined Maverick isn't slow on the tarmac, however, the Santa Cruz just edges it slightly in terms of performance, especially when tuned to the super responsive sport mode, which utilizes all the impressive features and components of the car, including its snappy paddle shifters. Similarly, the 2023 Hyundai Santa Cruz offers superior handling compared to the Maverick. This is further enhanced by its wide stance, sleek steering, and advanced all-wheel drive torque vectoring. This car feels like the better ride for a city environment. However, it is just about capable of delivering the goods in off-road environments as well. However, the reverse is the case if you compare both vehicles at a lower trim. For instance, Ford's Maverick delivers 191 horsepower and 155 pound-feet of torque at the base trim level, but somehow it feels sufficiently fast. On top of that, it has an eye-popping 42 miles per gallon within the city and 33 miles per gallon on the highway, which makes for 37 miles per gallon combined. In comparison, the 2023 Hyundai Santa Cruz isn't offered as a hybrid, but it delivers 191 horsepower as well as featuring a combined mileage of 23 miles per gallon. For customers who crave more power, there's an optional 281 horsepower turbocharged four-cylinder engine. The Santa Cruz and Maverick both offer all-wheel drive at the lower trim levels. The South Korean automaker reminded everyone in the industry that it is one of the most tech-friendly companies in the industry through the array of features held within the Santa Cruz cabin. And as far as we know, it is the first offering in its class to carry this smart gadget. But rather than follow the new trend of installing finicky rotary knob or push-button setup on the center console, Hyundai opts for the traditional shifter. In addition, Hyundai uses some very lush materials for the interior, which makes the Santa Cruz look really sophisticated. Compared to Ford's Maverick, the Santa Cruz is cloistered in a little bit tight around the back seat. However, Hyundai makes up for this by using more upscale materials and implementing more intuitive features like heated and cooled seats. The Hyundai Santa Cruz is packed with several new age tech gadgets and features. All base models are equipped with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard options. Other standard features include safe exit warning and speed limit recognition, while higher trim models are equipped with semi-autonomous highest driving assist. Infotainment is applied by an 8-inch contemporary screen in the lower trim. Meanwhile, 
Owners of the higher trim models will enjoy an even better view with a 10.25 inch screen, which is exclusive to the upscale models alone. Similarly, motorists who opt for the premium model will get an upgraded eight speaker Bose stereo system. They'll also enjoy an optional 360 view camera and Hyundai's Blue Link services, which are offered free of charge for the first three years. This would unlock premium features like Amazon Alexa, among other applications, as well as the Hyundai Digital Key, which supports proximity keyless entry, remote start, push button start, and an auto dimming rear view mirror. Furthermore, the 2023 Hyundai features an alluring sunroof, 64 color ambient interior lighting, and a universal garage door opener. Interestingly enough, most of these features are unavailable in the Maverick. The Maverick has expectedly basic features like a pre-collision warning, automatic emergency braking, and optional features like lane keeping and blind spot monitors. However, more advanced features like adaptive cruise control, lane centering, and evasive steering assist are only available with the luxury package, which is exclusive to the top trim alone. When equipped with a turbocharged engine and all-wheel drive powertrain, the Santa Cruz can tow up to 5,000 pounds, which is quite poor for a pickup truck. Without the turbocharged engine, the Santa Cruz can pull up to 3,500 pounds. In terms of price, the most affordable trim of the Hyundai Santa Cruz cost about $25,000. In comparison, the base model of the Ford Maverick will set you back $21,500. Adding the all-wheel drive option to the base trim of the Santa Cruz will increase the price to around 37 grand, but opting for the same features in the Ford Maverick cost a bit under 25. However, the top of the range trim model of the Hyundai Santa Cruz cost around $41,000, which is a noticeable amount more than an all-wheel drive Maverick Larian, which goes for around 38,000. What's your personal take on the debate between the two? Which one would you take for a ride? Whatever your thoughts may be, let us know in the comments below. Please do like and subscribe, and we hope to see you next time on Motor Deck.